Welcome back, Murdoch. In this episode, we will cover the schedule for class day and graduation, flag football, an alumni banquet, and more. Welcome back to another episode of Blue Devil Weekly. I'm Mark Quinn. And I'm Tanner Broomhall, and we're your main news anchors. A reminder that we have no school on Monday. It's Memorial Day. On Tuesday, there's a Board of Selectmen town meeting. It will be held in the town hall in the second floor auditorium starting at 6.30. Attention seniors, your finals are Tuesday and Wednesday. We have your schedule. You'll have periods one through four, then lunch, then a graduation rehearsal after lunch. On Wednesday, you'll have periods five, six, seven, one. Collect your caps and gowns and turn in obligations in office. Then lunch, then another rehearsal afterwards. Then the rest of the periods. Mm-hmm. Let's go seniors. That's right. The flag football game is on Wednesday. Junior and senior girls take the field for the expeditional flag football game. Let's go, seniors. Let's go over our, our riddle for this week. Get ready. A bus driver goes, to, goes the wrong way down a one-way street. He passes the cops, but they don't stop him. Why? Like always, the answer will be shown at the end of the video. There is no way they got away with a crime. That's right. Tanner and I will be right back after this quick episode of sports. Welcome back, Murdoch. We are your sports news anchors. I'm Cohen Veyu. And I'm Germani Andrews. To start off, varsity baseball played last week against St. B's home on their senior night and lost 7-6. On Sunday, they played Air home and lost 17-1. On Monday, they played Gardner away, which is a continuation of a suspended game where they lost 5-2. And on Tuesday, they played David Prouty away and lost 16-6. Their last game was yesterday against Keefe Tech. We'll have to report you that for next week. Good job, baseball. Up next, we have varsity softball, who played last Thursday against St. B's. It was home, and they lost 12 to three. Madeline Santos tripled after a .10 pitch at bat, driving in one run. On Monday, softball had a doubleheader against North Brookfield, home, where they won nine to four and 16 to two. It was a doubleheader and senior night, and game one, Murdoch had a total of 12 stolen bases, and in game two, Murdoch did, commit, didn't, did not commit one single error in that game. They also had a game Tuesday against Winstonville Christian that was home where they won 12 to zero. Kendra Lamb went three for four, scoring three runs. Murdoch collected 14 stolen bases. They had a game Wednesday against Bromfield that was home when they won seven to three. Maya McDermott went two for three and Cassandra Santos struck out 13 batters despite having pitched every game this week. She has been dominant in the circle. Good job all softball athletes. JV Baseball played away yesterday against Keefe Tech where they, and that will be reported next week. On Wednesday, senior captains drafted a team combined JV and varsity roster included Coach Taylor and Coach Collins. Throughout the day, the blue and white teams threw shade at each other in anticipation of a hard fight during the hottest day of the week. The teams ultimately tied 4-4 by the end of the game. Must have been a fun scrimmage. Track and field had their states yesterday, and they also have states tomorrow, which we will report to you guys next week. Fall athletes, don't forget that the 2024 signups are now taking place. Cheer, cross country, field hockey, football, golf, and soccer are all being offered. Don't delay in signing up so teams can be informed on so teams can be formed and coaches notified. Head over to Arbiter Sports to sign up and don't forget to get your updated physicals to the office. That's all we have for today, guys, and back, back to you, to you guys in the studio. In the studio. Thanks, guys. Thursday is class day. Classes for that will be as follows. We will have normal everyday one through five periods. During period six, students will start being called down to, by Miss Conley. Class day is for seniors to receive scholarships. Juniors and sophomores will be there as well. The class of 2027 get to receive their class colors, and the class of 2028 get welcomed into the high school as they get past 
the colors green and white. That's right, green and white. That's all we have right now. Let's drop it down like it's hot to Colin for the question of the week. Who am I here with today? Maya. Maya, who won, Kendrick or Drake? Drake. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? You know Miles. You know Miles. You know Miles. You know Miles. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? J. Cole. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? I'm going to have to go with Kendrick. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Drake. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? Kendrick. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? 21 Savage. Who won, Kendrick or Drake? I don't know. Ask Avery Gomez. Awesome. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Colin. Woo hoo! We forgot to mention that class day and graduation will be streamed here on this YouTube channel right here. Yeah, and graduation is Sunday, June 2nd. Next Friday, there's a trio presentation. Each presentation will be around 20 minutes. Grade 9 starts at 8 a.m. 10th grade then follows at 8.30, and grade 11 finishes it out at 9.30. Let's turn our time over to our weatherman, Alex, Alex LeBlanc, LeBlanc, for this week's weather. weather. Thanks, guys. Welcome back, Murdoch. I'm your weatherman, Alex LeBlanc, here to bring you this week's forecast. For today, it should be sunny, with temps being around 80 degrees during the day, and drop around 52 during the night. For tomorrow, it'll be sunny during the day, but there's a chance of showers and thunderstorms around the night. Temps to be around 79 during the day, dropping in the high 50s. For Sunday, it will once again be mostly sunny, with tents being in the low 80s and dropping in the high 50s. For the beginning of next week, there's a chance of rain for both Monday and Tuesday. Tents being in the low 70s during the day and dropping in the mid 50s during the night. That is all. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks to my favorite weatherman, Alexander Michael LeBlanc. Attention Murdoch graduates. Saturday, June 1st, there's an alumni banquet. It starts at 6 p.m., ending around 9. That'll be it for this episode. Let's finish out that riddle though. It is, a bus driver goes the wrong way down a one-way street. He passes the cops, but they don't stop him. Why? It's because he was walking. <laughs> That's too good. If you want to see more new sports and riddles, just follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at MurdochHS. Also, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time we post. With that, we'll see you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend, Murdoch. Have a wonderful, fantastic, fabulous weekend.